252 students from a total of 287 from across the territory who sat the 2013 secondary school leaving exams were successful. Students from both public and private schools, Elmore Stout High, Brigado Flax Educational Center, Seven Day Adventist Secondary, St. George's Secondary, and the Claudia Creaky Educational Center sat to exams. Minister for Education and Culture Myron Walwyn congratulated the successful students, noting that though boys were again in the minority, he was happy to see the names of the five male students listed in the top 10 positions. The top student in the territory was Shea Alexander of Brigada Flats Educational Center. He was followed by Rhea Sprav of the Elmo Stout High School, both respectively earning the two highest grade point averages within our secondary schools. Commendations should also be given to the five young men in our public school system and the one young man in the private school system. Though boys were again in the minority this year, I was pleased to see that these young men attained a spot on the territory's top 10 students list. Shea Alexander of Brigada Flax Educational Center, Joshua Ragnarth of the Elmo Stout High School, Paul Murillan of Elmo Stout High School, Anson Benjamin of Elmo Stout High School, and Jean Ayu Ferguson of the Elmo Stout High School, along with Jamoy McCleary of the BVI Seventh-day Adventist School. The Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School recorded 100% passes with 24 students all receiving Grade 1 certificates. All five students sitting the exams at Claudia Creaky Learning Center on Anagata were also successful. At the St. George's Secondary School, 15 students sat the exams and 9 students received Grade 1 certificates, 2 with Grade 2 and 4 unsuccessful. At Brigada Flax Educational Center on Virgin Gorda, 29 students sat the exams, 24 received Grade 1 certificates, 1 student received a Grade 2 certificate, 4 students were unsuccessful. 213 students from the Elmore Stout High School sat the exams. Of that total, 74 achieved Grade 1 certificates, the same number as last year. There were 60 Grade 2 certificates, 52 Grade 3, and 27 unsuccessful candidates. Throughout the territory, a total of 46 students qualified to take supplementary exams. Of those students, 26 were unsuccessful, while 11 did not qualify to take any supplemental exams. To our students who were unsuccessful in this year's exams, our education system still have opportunities for you. I strongly encourage you to utilize the opportunity to enroll in our alternative secondary school program or to seek approval to return to secondary school for another year. To our students who were successful, I urge as many of you as possible to consider moving on to higher education through our Eighth Avenue Stout Community College. There you will have the opportunity to refine your career objectives and explore classes to strengthen your learning capacity in various subjects. The Education Minister encouraged those students who are seeking employment immediately to put their best foot forward when exploring work opportunities. He urged them to remember that their learning should never end once they cross the graduation stage. Minister Walwyn also welcomed the efforts being made to re-implement a territorial examination board.